Hey guys and girls, welcome back to my thoughts on everything. First of all, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. If you are not subscribed yet, subscribe, like and turn on all the notifications. Today I'm going to take you with me to a local area in Accra, close to the Independence Square. So guys and girls, stick till the end and I will show you the local place where I went. I can tell you the people over there, they always smile and really want you to come home. I see you after the intro. Welcome back guys and girls, welcome back and thank you for watching. Today I'm going to talk about the local neighborhood close to the Independence Square in Ghana. This is a neighborhood that I went after I had an interview with Natural Ghana Girl. This neighborhood is a neighborhood you can see it needs development, however the people there they were all smiling and it was a really nice and great experience. So how did it all start? Let's go to the beginning of the video. So guys and girls, we are go now going into the local area. And this is local, local. Let's go, bro. Bro, let's go. As you can see, there's paved road over there and it looks nice, right? Let me know in the comment section. So this is really the local area that I want to show you guys. So check this. Check this. Nice street, local. So come, let's, let's check this out. By the way, guys and girls, this day was the day that I was supposed to go to Takoradi, but the flight was overbooked. So when I went to the airport, I couldn't go anymore. And this is the reason why I thought let's go to the local area after the interview with Natural Ghana. Bro. The castle far from here? No, it's far, far, it's far. It's far from here? Yeah, it's far. That was, that was the castle route. It's far. Let's oh. go, we come here, we go to castle. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. And let's spend our whole time in castle. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know, so what I've noticed is that they sell food everywhere here. So food is a really important part of the culture, of the Ghana culture. Is this right, brother? Yeah. This is Sam. This is Chief Sam. We were supposed to go to a castle nearby the Independence Square, but it was like 20 minutes or 30 minutes away from the destination that we needed to go. So we thought, let's go to this local area while we are here. Before we go further, I need to say that some people warned us about going here where we are now going. The guy that I went with to this local area, he also said, check it out. We need to be cautious. At this point, it started to hit me that I was in a local area and this local area had like 50 or 60,000 of these kinds of houses. And it started to hit me that I had like two iPhones, I had a GoPro, a gimbal, and perhaps it wasn't the right move. Let's keep watching and I will show you. Yeah guys, so this is the local area and this is what I'm talking about. You know, you can, as you can see, it's really vibrant. There are a lot of shops in here, everything you can buy in here. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, affordable. 
and I, I made the step. I made the step by coming here. And you know, you see where I'm walking right now, right? You can see where I'm walking right now. Look at this. This is not a tourism part, you know? This is really the local, local part. So as I said before I came to Ghana, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to get to know the local people. I wanted to uh, get in contact with the local people and I managed to do this, you know? One of them is the musician. I um, met some great people and I have, um, you know, I, I just love this country. I just love this country. I can tell you what, what more I can say, you know? except for it's great um, the people are living really cozy they are really happy you know the people are happy here the people you know this they, they just simple humble people so at this point the guy that i was with he said it's not smart to go further i also need to say that this guy was a guy that was really cautious you know he was really cautious about everything he was thinking about me so he advised and he said you know let's go back to the hotel we turned and we went back to the hotel you know it's really vibrant it just looked like like the movies i can't say nothing anymore but except that it just looked like the movies You know, the vibe, the local vibe and everything, you know, it's it's like, I can't say it, I can't explain to you guys. You, you really need to check it your own, what this is and how this, this is. Like, uh, you have a lot of small kids playing in the streets. There are uh, a lot of shops, as you can see, shops, shops, everywhere shops, you know, so I would, I want to, I want you guys to come and see, come and visit yourself, and don't, don't, don't um, judge the book by its cover. You know, don't forget this because it's important for you to come and see for yourself first. This is really important. So, um, as you can see, this is the hardcore local area. You know, this is really the hardcore local area. So. Um, at this point i could feel that you know i was in an, and see that i was in a neighborhood that needed development they needed help and they needed they needed you they need you guys they need the diaspora to come and just give them a helping hand because you know what? The people over there, they are smart. They are wise. But in a certain way, they just need a helping hand to get them to the next level. This is it. So let me know what you think about this video. And if you go to Ghana, are you going to help? Are you going to be the helping hand? Let us know in the comment section below. Guys and girls, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. If you are not subscribed yet, subscribe, like, and turn on all the notifications. My thoughts on everything, out.